Hi, my name is Rob McCoy of Ram Communications, and welcome back to our continuing series called Telecom 101. In this segment, we're talking wide area networking, and we're going to expand on MPLS and VPLS services. So I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes about what these two services can do and where they should be used in certain business environments. In our previous segment, we took a look at VPN services like point-to-point, -point, frame relay, and MPLS. In this segment, we're going to take a closer look at MPLS, and then we will make the jump to VPLS, or Virtual Private LAN Service. MPLS, or Multi-Protocol Layer Switching, uses virtual paths to link locations together. MPLS is unique in that it is a Layer 2 service that can handle Layer 3 applications at faster speeds. Like a point-to-point -point link, these paths provide speed and private connection, but they also offer a much more flexible and precise way to distribute traffic from user to user, as you'll see in the illustration in front of you. In an MPLS network, specific applications like voice, instant messaging, email, your general web traffic, all can be prioritized so that the most important information gets the most bandwidth. This is realized through a process known as quality of service, or QoS. As we stated in our first segment, MPLS networks allow the customer to view and dictate how their networks behave. The best network providers allow clients the most control. For example, customers can reprioritize their bandwidth for a specific application as their needs change. They can do all of this through a web tool without having to call the carrier, open up a ticket, and wait for somebody in repair to get back to them. MPLS solutions are best suited for businesses looking to manage a host of applications on a secure network where they can tweak settings and performance at their disposal. Let's take a look at VPLS or Virtual Private LAN service and see how this compares to MPLS. VPLS or Virtual Private LAN service has a lot of common elements with MPLS. VPLS can provide similar visibility and QoS characteristics as an MPLS network. In fact, a VPLS network sits on top of MPLS. The MPLS is the engine, if you will, that assigns routes, or what we call pseudo-wires, to all of the locations on the WAN. However, there are a few very important distinctions between the two. Primarily, VPLS provides a LAN-like environment using static routing, whereas MPLS is a dynamic environment which can automatically reroute traffic in the event of fiber or circuit outages. VPLS provides network control to the customer, whereas MPLS puts control primarily in the hands of the carrier. So you're gonna to wanna to keep these elements in mind. In VPLS, every location and device looks like it is on the same local network using the same range of IP addresses. There are several benefits to this pseudo LAN environment. For example, the end user has more control over the WAN elements. He or she can use their own routers to control layer three traffic. In that instance, you're not depending on the carrier for those end routers. Those devices are in your control. Second, because there's only one set of IP addresses to manage, troubleshooting moves, ads, and changes are greatly simplified for the administrator of the network. The reason all of this is possible is because VPLS is really a layer two application sitting on an ethernet infrastructure. For businesses with just a few locations that are looking for high speed, predictability, security, and control, VPLS may be the best choice. Think of VPLS as a logical replacement for a point-to-point -point network. VPLS is providing fast speed, control, and visibility with the predictable performance of a point-to-point -point service. Since every location is delivered on an Ethernet interface, this also can simplify installation. 
Customer routers and switches can easily be connected at each location and become operational very quickly. MPLS, on the other hand, because of its dynamic qualities, is better suited for organizations who need to deliver and manage voice, data, and video to many locations. Both MPLS and VPLS have their place in business networking. If you understand the similarities and more importantly, the differences between MPLS and VPLS, then you can make a better decision about which network is best suited for your business needs. I hope you found this segment valuable. If you did, then you should have a pretty good idea of the similarities and the differences between MPLS and VPLS networking. If you do, then you'll be able to make a better decision about which application, which technology is going to be best suited for your business environment. If you have any questions, by all means, contact us anytime here at Ram Communications. We are happy to help. Thanks. Have a great day.